Hello everyone, this is Navin Chandra Gowda. Welcoming you all for the uh, session on uh, sample programs on SAC and SAC XC. Now, let me take up the few examples right here. So, now let us generate the SAC and SAC programs for arithmetic operations. Or I'll simply say that arithmetic expressions. For your understanding, so let me take up the different uh, kind of expressions having only uh, variables. So expression as having only variables and having only constants, having only constants and also third case let me say it as uh, having both, it is the constants and having both the uh, variable and the variable and the constants in an expression constants so let me also consider with respect to expression with the different kind of uh, operation operators when you say different kind of operators so you can have the uh, precedence over the operators right so first let me take you to the first and foremost this is the operators okay First, let me take you to the uh, first case. So, first, let me give you an example having an expression, have expression having only the uh, variables, right? So, now I am considering the arithmetic expression having only the uh, variables. So, for for that, suppose uh, let me assume the expression can be it is some somewhere like m is equal to uh, let me say p plus q so okay so here i would like to perform this m is equal to p plus q where the operation is the addition and the, there are two variables uh, i mean say the two operands which is p and the q uh, once upon you perform the addition among those uh, p and the q the resultant is stored into the m so my dear students so you have to understand such a way that the p m and also the q which is all the three are the variables so it is as same as it's as same as uh, let me draw something right here for your better understanding so you can if you observe clearly this is the memory location where you can have a p so at the same time when there is one more memory location called for the q and there is a more like a location for the m so right like this uh, we need the three memory locations or we are going to utilize the uh, three memory locations understand this so here something like this this is the m and this is for the p and the q so like this we are we are trying to deal with the uh, three memory locations which are those three memory locations which is p m p and the q keep in mind so all the three are the variables right now so we have the three memory spaces right perfect now let us uh, generate uh, the SIC program first let me take up the SIC program later I'll move to the SIC XC so what I will do I'll just uh, write the SIC XC program separately and the SIC program separately let me write the SIC XC this side and here let me generate the SIC program right so let me yeah I hope uh, it is clear so here I'll be generating SIC program this is the problem statement and this is where I'll be generating the XC, SIC XC program. Clear? So fine. Now before I can start uh, performing, I mean, so before I start performing the operations, the logical or the technical part you have to understand like how the operation will be performed. For the point like how the operation will be performed. I repeat for the point like how the operation will, can be performed. So let me uh, make use of one of the register so for that let me use uh, one more symbol right here try to understand here so here what i'm going to use what i'm going to do in the sense right here i'll just make use of one variable one register that register is nothing else than the accumulator because accumulator register i, I hope you know that uh, there is accumulator register in the sic sic uh, machine architecture so here is accumulator register so what i have to do first what i have to do first in the sense as i want to perform this operation as i have to perform this operation what i'm for what i'm trying to perform so the 
I need to consider P and the Q. Those need to be added together, and the resultant I have to push it onto the M. So what I'll be doing in the sense first, I'll be bringing either P or the Q onto the accumulator. As it is a P plus Q, and the operator it is a plus, and the associativity you can consider which is with respect to the right associativity or the left associativity. I hope you know you have an idea about it. So right now, let me start with the taking the P itself. So what I have to do in the sense. I have to bring this P onto the accumulator register. I have to first I have to bring this P onto the accumulator register. Once after the P is pushed onto the accumulator register, then so even for your understanding, for your understanding. So let me write do the coding part both together. So let me make use of this as a table, but actually it is not a table for your understanding to write the instructions in the format. Like, however, I hope you know that there is a label field, upper and and also the uh, code field. So for that purpose, I'm just making out this kind of difference. Okay, so be uh, there is nothing to confuse about this, right? So I'll just make use of this table. So what I'll do, so first and foremost thing, however, I, all of you know that, so we need to declare the three variables, which are those three variables, it is the M and the P and the Q. And as I hope you already knew about this, that we are trying to deal here with respect to the SIC programs. And in the SIC program, the, this kind of addition operation can be performed on the numbers. And in SIC, there, there is a only integer type of numbers. So for which, how to declare them? for which I'll be using the uh, uh, word but basically as here I be considering them as a variables I do not know what is the value which will be available right there so what I'll do I'll just only reserve the memory space how many memory space I just will be reserving only one word of memory space so like this as all the three which is uh, p q and the m all are uh, variables so for which i'll be just only allocating the memory space that's what I'm only reserving the memory space i don't have to initialize any value right now so first for this what i supposed to do in the sense however so declaration of the variables is done i don't have to initialize with anything because i don't know what is the value right which will be stored in the p and pq so that i am only declaring with the one word of memory space then later i have to push so i have to first i have to push the p onto the accumulate register so for which itself i'll be using lda of p so where the content of p is pushed onto the accumulate register this is the step once after you did this, then we need to perform the operation. What is the operation right here? It is the addition. So that is where add. What you are adding? You are adding the Q. You are adding what? Q. Once after you add the Q to the P, that's still the resultant store is in the uh, accumulator. It is as same as my dear. Try to understand. So, yeah. What you did in the sense, you pushed the uh, P onto the accumulator, then you uh, then later you added the value of Q to the accumulator content. So this is what the second step what you did. So addition is done with the content of the accumulator register. That is what this add performs. Still the resultant is still in the accumulator. Now that you need to push it onto the where to where you need to bring that and store onto the M, right? That's what the story, right? So you need to push on to the M. So that can be carried. The resultant, whatever it is available in the accumulator register, then that can be stored back. That can be stored back down to the M by using STA. Right? This is a simple code snippet for which you just have one end, end at the ending, at the beginning. So you just have one start instruction. That's only the that's a simple code snippet. So here you will be having a start instruction for which you just design any name. So I'll say that addition. Addition is the name of the program. And the starting address you gave is anything, anything. So this is the code snippet which is generated in the SAC for this example. The same kind of code snippet if you ask me how to do it in the SAC XC as well. So same way like you know, will be having so same kind of a code let me uh, reuse whatever it is required so what i'll do so anyhow you'll be having a code start and the end and this uh, three variables i also you know that the, these are the three variables which are a uh, p q and the uh, m those are the three variables for which only you are only allocating the memory space now my dear students the slight difference you have to make it out in order to reduce the memory cycles or memory 
uh, dealing with the memory so you can make use of the uh, different register in SIC XC because in the SIC XC we have the uh, different kind of registers which are available so what I will do let me make use of the two different registers you see here let me make use of two different register so let me call the first register as accumulate register let me use accumulate register at the same time I can also make use of two more additional registers which are available I hope you know that it is yes and the T you can use yes and the T for any such scenarios so what I'll do I'll just push the yeah I'll just push the uh, Q onto the yes and the uh, this uh, P onto the A. So what I'm doing, I'm just pushing up Q onto the yes and P onto the A. So that's all. So it is the same as LDA, A, so LDA, P. There is the content of P is pushed onto the A and content of e, a Q is pushed onto the yes now you can perform the addition between them so for which i'll be using add r which is addition between the registers so here it was only add where you will be adding the memory with the accumulator so it is where you are performing the addition with the registers so order yes comma a so it is the same as the content of yes is added to the a so let me draw that so what is happening the content of yes is added to the a so once after the content of S is added to the A, the resultant still the added result is still in the accumulator. That you need to that you need to push back onto the M, right? That you need to push back onto the M. So for which so definitely here I let me I have to make use of one more row here. So as I mentioned, once after you perform add R, yes, comma A, the resultant is still in the accumulator register that I need to push it onto the M. So that for which you'll be using STA M. Right? STA M. So the content is pushed onto the M, which is a variable a memory location M. Right? This is the uh, simple code snippet in the SIC and the SIC XC for the given problem statement which is M is equal to P plus Q where I have considering that the expression is having only the variables. Right? I hope you understand. In the next video I will be taking up the second case. So what was the second case? So in the second case let me take up when the expression is having only constant. How to deal with that? So that I will take up in the next session. Thank you.